हेलो एवरी वन एंड गुड मॉर्निंग ऑल ऑफ यू दिस इज़ आशमा शुक्ला योर करंट अफेयर्स एंड बैंकिंग अवेयरनेस फैकल्टी ऑन एंट्री प्लेटफॉर्म एंड इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट ऑल द मेजर न्यूज इवेंट्स दैट हैव टेकन प्लेस इन द पास डेज एंड वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट दैम इन अ बिट ऑफ हाई लाइट्स फॉर्मैट सो दैट यू गेट ऑल द मेजर अपडेट्स विच आर एसोसिएटेड एंड ऑल्सो एट द एंड ऑफ द सेशन वी हैव अ फ्यू क्वेश्चन टू गिव यू अ प्रैक्टिस ऑन हाउ द क्वेश्चन कैन बी फ्रेम्ड so go through or listen to the session carefully and then at the end of the session out of the news events we are going to discuss today i will be uh, giving opposing you a few mcqs and try to answer them and that's how you'll be learning about the format also for those who want to practice questions of moreover for them we have entry app where you'll be getting more of these type everyday quizzes for your practice <clears throat> Let's start on the discussion now. The first news event is that the Union Cabinet has approved Pan India implementation of Ayushman Bharat Digital Mission with a budget of sixteen hundred crore rupees for a duration of five years. Under this scheme, citizens will have a fourteen-digit A B H or Abha Ayushman Bharat Health account number. to which their digital health records can be linked so basically we are working on digitization of the uh, records or medical records that we have union ministry of msme micro small and medium enterprises is setting up msme technology center in sindhudurg maharashtra with an outlay of 200 crore rupees it was announced by msme minister shri narayan rane ji during his two day msme conclave organized by ministry of msme in sindhudurg on 25th and 26th of february now this conclave's objective is to promote entrepreneurship and the trade opportunities for msme in the konkan region and also make sindhudurg region the top most in the industrial sector right indian air force has decided not to send its aircrafts in the multilateral air exercise cobra warrior 22 which was to be organized in united kingdom due to the deepening crisis in ukraine arising out of the russian military attack in the country now you people are aware about the fact that russia is invading ukraine there are certain attacks which are going on and there are very harmful attacks going on simultaneously in united kingdom at this duration there was cobra 22 exercise which was supposed to be conducted it's a multilateral exercise and there were about four to five nations more which were about to participate and it was supposed to be held in waddington but after uh, <clears throat> this crisis took place uh, iaf has um, confirmed that its participation is not going to be furthermore in this exercise in 2022 government of india has organized polio national immunization day 2022 also known as polio ravivar on february 27 to give two drops of oral polio vaccine to every child under the age of 5 this was organized for uh, making india Uh, stronger against polio from 25th of february india has become the second country after china to implement t plus 1 stock settlement mechanism in a phased manner the system will be starting with select stocks and then gradually adding others towards this fold now uh, regarding this instructions were issued by sebi and before this the settlement period of the stocks in india was t plus 2 that is 2 days after the buying or selling of stock so earlier we were going on t plus 2 that is after the two days after the trade now it is one day after the trade so t is here trade or transaction that is the day when the stock is brought and t plus 1 means the actual stock settlement will happen the next day like right? you buying a stock on monday you will get your dmat account on tuesday this is the t plus 1 implementation that is going to happen now New Development Bank will become first multilateral agency to open an office in the Gujarat International FinTech City that is the gift city. New Development Bank has received the approval for the same and will open the office in May 2022. and as you all know ndb was set up by brics nations which is headquartered in shanghai in china 
Central Board of Indirect Taxes and Customs or CBIC has lowered the threshold for mandatory issuance of e-invoice or electronic invoice under the goods and services tax to 20 crore rupees from the earlier prescribed limit of 50 crore rupees. So this amount has been reduced now, the threshold has been reduced and this is going to be effective from the new financial year that is 1st of April 2022. What does this mean? This change means that the business with a turnover of more than 20 crore rupees will have to issue e-invoice through their internal system or billing software and then report them to the invoice registration portal. State-owned National Hydropower Generation Company Limited has signed a pact with HDFC Bank. They have signed a pact to securitize return on equity of its 540 megawatt Camera One power plant in Himachal Pradesh in the coming 10 years. 28th DST CII India Singapore Technology Summit was held in a virtual manner organized by CII or Confederation of Indian Industry and the Department of Science and Technology. The theme of the summit is building economies for the future. All right, next news event is that Ministry of Education has launched a Bhasha Certificate Selfie Program to launch. Uh, which was launched to motivate cultural diversity environment and promote multilingualism in India. So, to, for the promotion of mon, uh, multilingualism, this uh, has come forward. India and Nepal have agreed to form a joint task force to develop hydropower projects from investments made by both the countries. Hydropower uh, Development Committee will have a maximum of three members. That is a maximum of three members can be there in the committee. And it is going to be working for both the countries. That is both the countries' hydropower projects which are there are going to be evaluated. And this was during the ninth meeting which was held recently in Kathmandu, Nepal. Union MSME Rupee Credit Card was launched by Union Bank of India and National Payments Corporation of India. It will offer simplified and digital delivery of finances to MSME and fulfill their business related operational expenses. It offers interest free credit up to 50 days for now. Bank Assurance Pact was signed between Star Health and Allied Insurance Company Limited and South Indian Bank. Under this health insurance product of Star Health will be provided across a huge network of South Indian Bank to customers. Ideal Finance Limited, which is a subsidiary of Mahindra and Mahindra Financial Services, has rebranded its company as Mahindra Ideal Finance Limited. The motto is, uh, of rebranding is to make MIFL one of the leading licensed finance firms in Sri Lanka. Ombudsman, uh, Ombudsperson app for Mahatma Gandhi Narega was launched by Union Minister for Rural Development and Panchayati Raj Giraj Singh Ji. App will enable prompt smooth reporting and categorization of grievances by the Ombudsperson as per the complaints received to the implementation of Manrega scheme. It will allow easy tracking of the cases and also they will be able to upload the quarterly and annual reports of the website through the app. Government of India recently launched Operation Ganga, which is an evacuation mission to evacuate Indian nationals from Ukraine because of rising Russia-Ukraine tension and conflict. So for rescuing Indians, we have an Operation Ganga, which is currently ongoing. India's first smart managed electric vehicle charging station was set up at Mayur Vihar in East Delhi. It is located at BYPL's 11 kilowatt uh, substation building in Mayur Vihar extension phase 1 commissioned by BACS Yamuna Power Limited or BYPL. It can charge 5 electric vehicles at the same time and uh, soon enough it is going to be extended to South, East, West and Central Delhi as well. Rafael Nadal has won singles title in Mexican Open 2022 by defeating British number 1 Cameron Nuri. 
यूनियन मिनिस्टर ऑफ हेल्थ एंड फैमिली वेलफेयर एंड मिनिस्टर ऑफ स्टेट फॉर हेल्थ एंड फैमिली वेलफेयर डॉक्टर भारती प्रवीण पवार जी लॉन्च आई सी एम आर डी एच आर पॉलिसी ऑन बायो मेडिकल इनोवेशन एंड ऑन्टरप्रनोरशिप फॉर ऑल द मेडिकल प्रोफेशनल साइंटिस्ट टेक्नोलॉजिस्ट एंड द मेडिकल डेंटल पैरा मेडिकल इंस्टीट्यूट एंड कॉलेजेस द पॉलिसी इज अलाउंग मेडिकल प्रोफेशनल और डॉक्टर्स to have entrepreneurial ventures set up startups and have innovation based medical sector in india so it's basically to uh, develop an innovation led ecosystem in the medical institutes in india now these were the news events important news events and highlights of the previous day now i'll be give, uh, putting forward a few questions so that you can all practice on uh, the questions that can be framed or how the questions can be framed first being india is going to form a hydro development committee with a maximum of 3 members with which of the following country so that was only one we had discussed that is going to be nepal with nepal we have a hydro development committee with a maximum of 3 members it's a joint task force that is going to be created which entity launched bhasha certificate selfie campaign now bhasha's um, certificate selfie campaign has been launched recently to maintain and foster the spirit of ek bharat shreshth bharat and also bhasha sangam is the objective and for this which ministry is responsible ministry of education they have launched this campaign for basically motivating the cultural diversity then we have which bank has state owned national hydro power generation company nhpc signed a pact to scrutinize return on equity of its 540 megawatt camera one power plant in himachal pradesh so in himachal pradesh with which bank has this agreement been signed this has been signed with hdfc bank nhpc has signed this with uh, hdfc bank with a value of 1016.39 crore rupees India's first smart managed electric vehicle charging station set up which can charge five electric vehicles at the same time has been set up in which of the following city so as we have discussed soon it was set up in delhi and it is a pilot project which will be extended soon in the all uh, all of delhi and it has been set up, uh, set up by b at bypl it has been set up at bypl and the execution is by fortum charge and drive what is the name of mission launched by government of india to evacuate indians from ukraine because of the russia ukraine tension and conflict so what is the name of the operation it is operation ganga with this we'll be winding up this segment and i hope this session has been helpful for your preparation for more such uh, videos don't forget to subscribe to the channel and like the video and share the video also you can get the pdf and more practice questions and the video in hindi on entry app we'll see you in the next video till then have a good day ahead